Welcome back, YouTube. This week, we're starting off with a great American road trip through Yellowstone and the Tetons on our way south to the mesas of southwest Utah. Here, we'll be acting as a guide for a special desert noob, Evan's dad. We show him around some of the most scenic biking trails in the world and make a last minute attempt at the deadliest hike in America. But spoiler, it's just Angel's Landing. If you missed last week, we left Canada to avoid the winter weather. Well, turns out the winter weather hit Montana and Wyoming too. We made the most of the heavy snow and enjoyed being comfortably stuck for a couple days. A trip through Yellowstone is always a blast for animal lovers like ourselves. We keep our eyes peeled for things like elk, moose, fox, wolves, bears, and of course, we're bound to see the enormous bison on our drive. But if you're more into impactful mountain landscapes, just south of Yellowstone is Teton National Park, which has some of the most jaw-dropping Tetons we've seen. Or the ridge itself. Round mounds of grass shaped like... Boobies! Don't look over there. Look here. Yeah, focus. <laughs> So we drove from Canada to Hurricane St. George area to meet up with my dad for his first time riding in the desert. It's a little bit different than riding in the forest or wherever, Canada. And Melanie can tell you that because every time we come back to the desert, she reminds me that she's not a desert rider. He's flying into Vegas today. We'll see what we can do with the weather, see if it holds up. Maybe we can get a ride in. And almost to this exact date last year, we brought my friend Anna out here. Well, she met up with us. She slept on the floor in our van. <laughs> Her beautiful accommodations on the ground. <laughs> I'm brushing my teeth, Anna's seeing. Things are going great. <laughs> this time we're staying in a nice Airbnb with laundry. We have been pushing off doing our laundry down to um, only hobo clothes. Let's get back in the van because it's chilly. So we're back out at Gooseberry today for- We're in guacamole. So I've been calling everything guacamole and then now I call it gooseberry. We're back out at guacamole today and Evan's dad is with us with us this week. Um, so we're gonna go take a quick lap. It did snow in Zion last night. So it's a little cold and chilly. Winter weather gear is on. Any words for your first desert ride? Ready to go. <laughs> Guacamole is one of our go-to trail networks in the area. Set atop a mesa with Zion as its backdrop, it is undoubtedly a scenic gem. The riding is mostly rock, so it's still in great condition even with the winter weather in the area. The one complaint we see most often about this trail is it's easy to get lost. And it is. Even though we've ridden it a handful of times, you're bound to get off course and lose track of the Karens. Overall, it's a great ride and getting lost is just part of the adventure. Oh yeah! What'd she say it was, hail? I think it's hail.
there's a bit of a, I don't know, roller coaster. <laughs> Melanie, Melanie whipped us up some uh, Ouch. fruit bowls post ride. Post ride fruit bowls. Um, I was saying that we finished our ride, made us fruit bowls. I already finished mine since Evan's been hard at work washing our bags, so it was a little bit muddy out there. We gotta ask the newcomer how um how the desert riding was. It must have been just like Georgia, right? Rocky, just like Georgia. <laughs> up and down, all around. <laughs> Exactly. We didn't get lost because we had guide Evan. A scale one to ten, how would you got rate your guide? Did you hear a sound? There's cows back there. They must be close right now. Holy cow. <laughs> this is the best guide I've ever had, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that'll do it. The lighting out here today is so cool because it's sunny but moody and it snowed on us and it rained and maybe hail. And it's sunned. And it's sunned. But now we've cooled down from our ride and we're cold. My hands are frozen. Am I? Yeah, Evan just got done washing the legs. All right, we just got done with our ride. And holy crap. The next morning, we headed off to a vortex so Eric could feel some good old-fashioned natural energy. Unfortunately, it was windy and freezing, but luckily Evan and I went earlier on a nice day and captured some awesome footage. After our frigid morning hike, it was time to warm up with a little riding near St. George. We headed off on Sidewinder before doing one of our favorites, Barrel Roll. Barrel Roll is a combination of rock and dirt with some tricky maneuvers, but overall there are sections where you can find flow, making this a fun trail to practice your skills. Anyone playing Catan, has anyone ever gotten this many nights? <laughs> Wait, let me do it again so I can see on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> can you actually see? Yeah, Probably the not. night and something. The last and most famous trail we showcased on our trip was Gooseberry Mesa. With its punchy climbs and technical descents, this trail can be quite a workout, even with its little change in elevation. Its claim to fame is the cliff edge. There are a few instances where you're feet away from a hundred foot cliff. I really hope no one's scared of heights. Today we're on Gooseberry Mesa, Ryan Southwind Rim, one of the most famous trails out here in Hurricane. The final day, we headed to Zion National Park for a must-do hike. 
All right, we said we weren't gonna do Angel's Landing this year, but observation point is closed. So here we are, third uh, third lottery attempt, got the victory. It's Evan's birthday, and so they secretly knew that. We're three of 800 people they allow up here today. And um, my dad's might be scared of heights. We out here. Make sure you look to both sides. Nicely done. Here if you need a hand. We made it to the top of Angel's Landing again. We all survived. Did you say uh, you say we're gonna do this again tomorrow or what? Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Yeah. You said maybe one time thing. <laughs> one and all. <laughs> I haven't seen. Actually, haven't seen the views yet. <laughs> For those who couldn't understand, uh, my dad he said he hasn't seen the views yet. He's waiting for the pictures. <laughs> Yeah, you're closer. Uh, no? Like that. <laughs> There's plenty no, of rock on that. Pretty close. I don't know. Oh. Is he angry? No, I don't think he's angry. He's confused. Oh, there we go. With another trip in the books, it's hard to believe another year has passed. But if we've learned anything on this van life journey, it's that these memories will last forever. We still talk about our first real road trip in our rooftop tent in 2015, where coincidentally, one of the last places we went was Zion National Park. We learned to camp on that trip and it sparked our dream of one day pursuing a life of travel. We didn't know what van life was back then, but now it is our life. Vive mas! If you enjoyed this video or any of our others, please consider subscribing. It helps our channel and makes future projects possible. Till next time, this is Out of This Van. What do you think? Really something? One of the seven wonders of the world. Seven wonders? Ready? Oh! <laughs> it went down my chair! <laughs> so you're gonna catch it like the water bottle. No! <laughs> We're just going out to the point. Dad, that's coming. Sam's cousin. The, the YouTuber, right? What's that? Oh, Sam, you know Sam? Yeah, McCray? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they work together in the same shop in Seattle. Oh, right on. Yeah, you, you probably worked on our bikes. <laughs>